All right, so hi guys, it's Jackie from TechJackie.com. We're coming to another video on SEO. First of all, if you're brand new to this channel, make sure to press the subscribe button below so when I release a new SEO video like this, you get notified, right? So in today's video, I'll teach you on how to get out of Google Sandbox quickly using uh, my own case studies, right? So uh, before we get into you know what is Google Sandbox and how to you know get quickly out of it. Let me show you the case study first. So this is uh, one of the screenshots from Search Console uh, for one of my clients. As you can see, this when he started out, and you can see, you know, quickly he, his impressions and his clicks and everything are going up pretty fast. This is a new website. Uh, it, it was launched like within like within like the first month itself. You can see, you know, everything just skyrocketed, right? And it is in a very competitive niche. Uh, I can't review in the niche, but it's an e-commerce website, and uh, you know some somewhere related to you know CBD and all those you know uh, high competition niche, right? And the second website, this this is a local website. As you can see, uh, this is this is um, not so new website, but you know the website has never been done SEO before, and you can see you know this is when the search console was uh, installed on the website, and you can see it's all flat, and this is when we start uh, SEO. And as you can see, you know, once we started, you can see everything just skyrocketed, right? And uh, this is like within like you know the first first few week, first or two week or two right after we started, and you know everything just skyrocketed. The ranking just you know started very fast, and you know you can see before you know nothing was there. It was you know normally it was just a one page website, and you know has nothing on it, right? And once we started SEO. Within just the first week, you know, we were able to get it out of sandbox quickly. So let me explain to you, you know, what is Google Sandbox and why it happens. Google Sandbox, you know, has been a buzzword in SEO industry for quite some times now, right? Um, especially uh, when Google really started shifting from, you know, uh, from the manual, uh, from the rule-based uh, system to machine learning system. So when they start relying more on machine learnings. This is when you know people start noticing the Google Sandbox, right? Essentially, uh, some SEO says you know there's no Google Sandbox, while some you know swear by it. Uh, and although you know Google came out and publicly and uh, said that there's no quote unquote Sandbox, however, you know any SEO who has been you know working on new website or you know even old website, right? Old website can also go into Sandbox, but it's more prominent in for new website will know that um, whenever you launch a new website or even new page on you know brand new domain, um, there's you know no matter what you do, no matter on how much on page you do or off page you do, you seem to get stuck, right? Essentially means uh, you're not really ranking for anywhere, right? On on Google first ten or twenty pages, um, you know no matter what you do, and if you consistently you know do what you do over a period of time, let's say three months, six months, or even a year then you know you start see a burst of impression just like the graph i show you something like this or you know, something like this right over a period of time let's say three months six months it depends right and once you start seeing all this burst that's when you know that you know you're out of sandbox right so um, if you're new in seo and you know you're just starting out and you might notice that you know why everything just goes so slow it's probably because you know, you're in this sandbox phase right Although Google says you know there's no sandbox, but we all know that sandbox is is like a term invented to kind of explain this phenomenon, this condition when no matter what you do, you seem to get stuck. Especially it, it happens for a new website uh, almost every time, and also you know for any website, old website you know that got hit by any core updates or any big updates, uh, you notice a drop in impressions, right? And you seem to kind of you know stay flat after that and that's when you know you it, it kind of resembles sandbox but you know it's pretty much the same thing there so why it happens why sandbox happens sandbox happens um, because you know um, the main reason is uh, from my own you know understanding and, and you know my experience it's simply because you know Google doesn't have enough signals about your website so it can trust you right so especially when let's say you launch a new website um you don't you know have much of a you know trust signals on the, on your website or you know any other signals and some signals you know require some time to process like let's say backlinks you know when you build links 
you have to wait like two to four weeks for it to start working everything. And, you know, it's a new website, doesn't have any other signals. And therefore, you know, Google is, is not able to process your website and not, are not, not able to, you know, give enough trust for you to rank. And so, you know, the key word here is you're, you don't have enough signals, right, for you to rank, uh, for you to rank. and therefore um, you're stuck in this Google sandbox for some time until Google start, until, you know, you have enough signals and until, you know, Google is able to process your signals. And that is also when, you know, you're hit by any core updates, you're, you have a drop in impress, impressions, means some of the signals are taken away from you or your competitors are having more signals compared to you and therefore, you know, you're dropped, right? Because you don't have enough signals to overcome that threshold, you know, to rank for your SERP or your search results. And so Google Sandbox is, and it is nothing but, you know, lack of signals, right? Or lack of enough signals. I would say that if you're an old website, your signals are pulled away from you. And therefore, you don't have enough signals to rank. If you're a new website, then you don't have, you know, uh, the right amount of signals yet to rank you. And therefore, this brings us to the second part, and that is how to get out of Google Sandbox quickly. So now you know Sandbox happens simply because, you know, you don't have enough signals. And therefore, how do you do it to get out of Sandbox quickly? To feed Google enough signals, right? And what kind of signals are there that you have to basically provide? Uh, from my own uh, experience and, you know, working across, um, you know, websites, hundreds of websites, um, there, you know, it, it can be divided into three uh, group of signals. One is content, two is uh, links, and three is user. So there are content signals, link signals, and user signals. So these are a set of three signals that you need to consistently, uh, you know, feed Google, feed the system. And the quicker you can do with enough quantity, the quickly you can get out of sandbox. So if you're able to do content, links, and user signals over a period of time, you know, consistently, and if you're able to give it enough quantity in a short period of time, you'll be able to get out of sandbox quickly. And here's the important thing that you have to keep in mind. You can't just rely on content and not do the other two, or you can't just do rely on links and ignore the other two. Means all these three category of signals, they are all interconnected and they all are dependent on each other. If you lack any one of these, you know, you, you'll find that it will take a longer period of time for you to start seeing results. All right, so let's say if you only publish content, you know, on and on and on without actually building backlinks, you'll still find that, you know, it takes quite some time to really gotta get out of sandbox. Or if you start, you know, building a lot of links, but you know, you're not really optimizing your content, then you'll still see that, you know, your links are not really helping you. So you have to keep on, you know, pushing consistently content links, user signals, content links, user signals over and over again, you know, until you really start seeing results. Now, when it comes to content, you know, um, is the frequency, like how frequently you publish your content and also more in the sense of quality of your overall content, right? Because think about it, if you're a local website, you know, you, and if you go ahead and you just, you know, publish thousands and thousands of content, obviously that's not gonna, you know, serve your business goal, right? And although it might help a little bit in terms of your rankings, but Google knows that it's a local website, it wouldn't make sense, you know, for you to have thousands of content there. So, you know, I would still rely on more quality, but you have to be, you know, a little bit of consistent of your uh, content um, publishing frequency, frequency as well. Uh, that also goes with links. When you start off, you know, you might not want to start off with your uh, you know, very high powerful links. You might want to start off with some of the uh, safe type of links, you know, things that are like social profiles, uh, directories, right? All these, um, you know, slowly build up, you know, all these trusted type of links, no follow type links, right? So you can start building that traction. And at the same time, you know, you know, if you start, you know, getting some user signals, let's say some brand signals, you build up a brand, right? And people are aware of you, they search for your brand name, et cetera, et cetera. Then that is also a positive sign, right? Like people interact, engage with your brand, your website. So essentially, you know, it's just a matter of, you know, pushing in over and over again, consistently content links, signal, user signals, content links, user signals. And then this is how you get out of your Google Sandbox quickly. Like most people like to focus on content and links, 
while you know most of them actually for, forget about user signals, right? And it is a very important signal. Uh, I've talked about user signals all the time on my channel. Make sure to check out some of my videos. I also have a lot of case studies on user signals on my website. So make sure to check it out, techjacket.com for slash uh, SEO case studies, right? So make sure to check them out as well. And uh, yeah, like for these two case studies that I'm showing you right now, um, and obviously this is also one of the latest SEO client where I was able to get him from 72 to number six. Uh, so it's just updated on very recently uh, in just two weeks. Right, so it is a brand new website launch. It was launched at 72 position, 70 second positions, and within just two weeks, we were able to get him to number six on the first page. It's a local uh, client, so not much search volume, but it's a main keyword here. Again, using the technique, right, just consistently feeding signal, uh, all you know, content links um, and user signals, right. And as you can see, the quicker you can feed uh, the system with enough signals, the quicker you can get out of sandbox. You don't really have to wait three months. You don't really have to wait six months. You can get out of sandbox within as quickly as one to two weeks. Depends on how much signals you can provide, right? And also depends on how competition competitive your niche is, right? And so, yeah, um, that's all very pretty straightforward. Um, I hope you find this video valuable. If you're looking for, you know, a quicker a more you know nitty gritty details on how to get your website out of sandbox quickly or to get your ranking higher make sure you know you check out my seo coaching program the link in the description where i you know i can give you a little bit of more detail on how to get into on how to produce these signals consistently and where to get them uh, um, you know consistently right and also effectively as well on, on a large scale so um, that's all for it. Um, and if you have any questions, make sure you leave them in the comment section down below. And I'm trying to answer them as soon as possible. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.